boxers or briefs? Which one is the best for your sperm quality? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna to explain exactly what the difference is between boxers and briefs. Do they really affect your sperm quality? Let's find out. Let me explain exactly where this comes from. There is a lot of data that proves that having scrotums at higher temperatures can actually impact your ability to produce quality semen or quality sperm. And so if you think about it, boxers leave a little more room to breathe, whereas briefs are a little bit warmer and cozier. So the thought has always been that maybe you should avoid briefs if you're trying to get pregnant. But what's the data? In 1998, they did a study of 97 men and they asked them, what do you wear, boxers or briefs? And they took semen analysis for all of them. Also of those 97 men, 14 men decided to switch from boxers to briefs and they also looked at their semen analysis. So essentially they gave their specimen and they analyzed what was the difference between their semen parameters. Based on this data, is there any real difference between the quality of their sperm? What they found was, no, there was really no difference. They also measured the scrotal temperatures of men who had boxers versus briefs and found, again, they were really very minimally different. Interestingly, in the boxer group, actually the temperature was a little bit higher at 33.8 degrees Celsius, whereas those in the briefs group had an average temperature of 33.6 degrees Celsius. So really no big difference. All right, so that's just one study, but another study was done in 2016, which looked at 501 couples who were trying to conceive, and they got really into the nitty gritty. What do they wear during the day? What do they wear at night? How often do they change their underwear and all these things? And what they found again in this group that there was really no difference. So if you're trying to conceive, it really doesn't matter whether you wear boxers or briefs. But there may be other reasons to consider one type of underwear to another. So certainly if you're choosing to wear briefs, you may notice it's a little bit hot and humid down there. And so in that case, you may be at a higher risk of getting jock itch or tinea cruris basically a fungus that results in a red itchy rash that you find in your groin. And so in order to avoid that, you can try using any sort of decussant powder that dries out the area like cornstarch in the area of the genitals. If you're interested in another video about different kinds of decussant powders or drying powders, let me know in the comments below and I'll make one of those as well. So on the topic of groin fungus, interestingly, a few months ago, I saw a tweet by a dermatologist that said, make sure you put on your socks before your underwear so you don't get fungus that transfers from your toes into your groin. Whoa, I was horrified. She goes on to say that this actually does happen. However, it's really only common if you have really horrible toenail fungus. But I think I'll start putting on my socks before my underwear from now on. And lastly, what about going commando? Well, you know, there's a lot of reasons that people like to go commando. One that I will point out is when you're going commando, please be careful zipping up your jeans or pants that have zippers on them because you don't want to end up like this. Exactly. What the hell is the situation? What did you shit yourself or something? I, I got it stuck. You got what stuck? It. Oh, it, um, um, uh, well, uh, let's have a look at it. Oh, for God's sake! Shh, shh, shh. Uh, Sheila, you gotta come here. You got, you, you gotta see this. What? what? Don't, uh, don't worry. She's a dental hygienist. She'll know exactly what to do. Hi, Ted. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Holy shit! Shh. Well, I mean, um, is it the, um, or the? Is it the Frank or the beans? Right. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. It looks like I think it's a little bit of both. What's that bubble there? What do you think? It's a. Well, how the hell did you get the beans above the frag? I mean, you, I'm, you, I'm, you, I'm, you, I, I, yeah, zipper-related injuries are real, and they definitely come into the emergency room and can be quite uncomfortable and quite embarrassing. They are easily correctable, but <laughs> certainly doesn't make for a fun trip to the emergency room. All right, thank you guys so much, and always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.